New York Times is also trying to make an impact in the world of education. Primarily, they begin by offering a 50% discount to any faculty member at any institution of higher learning. The ancillary idea there is for them to expose their students to the New York Times because it's being offered at such an affordable rate. <laughs> students themselves can also get the 50% discount. Now, why this is so useful to them, their mission is two-pronged. Primarily, they want to uh, promote an informed electorate, but also, when the time comes that you're not a student anymore, even after that discount wears off, you'll be so accustomed to the quality product of the New York Times, you'll still continue to be a subscriber. The idea is to have a rising generation provide a built-in <coughs> subscriber base. They're also promoting the world of education since 1999, they've had the New York Times Scholarship Fund. Uh, it's a sign of the times in the print media. Back then, they were able to get 20 students to receive this. Now, forgive me, in 2010, it reached a low point of only six students. However, as they mentioned earlier, uh, circulation has been on the rise again, and it's showing the number of recipients. Now, the number of recipients has gone up to eight, and they're expecting to see more in the years to come. Another thing that's impressive about the New York Times is, even though they have their own business model, they also have some of their own in-house experts, including a Nobel Prize winner, Paul Krugman. They are not afraid to go and critique the business models of other organizations and sometimes famous individuals. Now, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I managed to get uh, something of an endorsement from a certain famous individual. Could you please get him on the line? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, Mr. President, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes, could you please tell us a little bit about your experience with the Times? Well, about a year ago, I released my new book, Back to Work, in which I laid out my ideas to hopefully improve the economy and education in this country. The New York Times offered a thorough critique of my work, analyzing what would improve the economy and education and what would not jive in reality. They were firm but fair. All right, I gave you your endorsement. Now you have to live up to your end of the deal, Colton. You promised I could go on a date with one of the girls in your class. <laughs> I never said that. I never, this is wildly inappropriate, Mr. President. Oh, come on now, Colton. Don't be cruel. <laughs> Hillary's out of town. She's working for Obama. She'll never know. <laughs> for starters, Hillary is no longer the Secretary of State. She read that in the New York Times. Oh, we were not holding hands. We were arm wrestling, and she won. <laughs> okay. I'm oh, President. what? Oh, where is she? She is no longer the Secretary. I don't know where she is right now. Uh. <laughs> oh, I think I have a good idea. <laughs> 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 